This video is brought to you by OTM365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. When it comes to air quality monitoring, particles are defined by their diameter, PM2.5 and PM10 particles. Now you might be thinking what are PM2.5 and PM10 particles. Well, PM stands for particulate matter and it's also called particle pollution. Particles that are 10 microns or less in diameter are called PM10 and particles that are 2.5 microns or less in diameter are called as PM2.5. Both PM2.5 and PM10 particles can be inhaled. But the fine particles PM2.5 pose the greatest health risk. These fine particles can get deep into lungs and some may even get into the bloodstream. Exposure to these particles can affect a person's lungs and heart so I'll be focusing more on the PM2.5 particles. The DSM 5018 dust sensor is one of the cheapest dust sensors on the market and it is capable of detecting PM2.5 as well as PM10 particles. So in today's episode you will learn how to make a low cost air quality monitoring system using DSM 5018 dust sensor, Arduino Nano and SSD 1306 or LED display module. Anyway, before I'm going to explain the DSM 5018 dust sensor technical specifications, it's interfacing with Arduino and programming. First, let's watch the DSM 5018 dust sensor and Arduino based air quality monitoring system in action. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the DSM 5018 dust sensor and OLED display module as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. Right now on the display you can see the particles concentration and the message clean. So when the concentration of particles is less than 1000, the message clean will be printed. Likewise, when the concentration of particles is between 1000 and 10,000, then the message good will be printed. If the concentration of particles is between 10,000 and 20,000, then the message acceptable will be printed. If the concentration of particles is between 20,000 and 50,000, then the message heavy will be printed. And if the concentration of particles is greater than 50,000, then the message hazard will be printed. For the practical demonstration, I'm going to use smoke. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. DSM 5018 dust sensor module is a low cost particle density monitoring sensor 
and it is capable of detecting PM 2.5 as well as PM 10 particles. I have already talked much about PM 2.5 and PM 10 particles right in the beginning. Supply voltage is 5 volts. Power consumption is 90 milliamps. Operating temperature range is from minus 10 to plus 65 degrees Celsius. Operating humidity range is 95%. Detectable particle size is approximately 1 micron. Output signals are PWM. Time for stabilization is 1 minute after power is turned on. The DSM-501A consists of light emitting diode, LED lamp, detector, signal amplifier circuit, output drive circuit 1 output drive circuit 2 heater induced airflow it has a total of five wires and don't get confused with the colors just follow the pin numbers as per the data sheet pin number one is the v out one control pin number two is the v out two output pwm pin number three is the vcc pin number four is the v out one output pwm and pin number five is the ground your dust sensor might have different color wires, so just follow the pin numbers and forget about the colors. For more technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. Connect pin 3 of the DSM-501A dust sensor with the Arduino 5 volts. Connect pin 4 of the dust sensor with the Arduino pin 8. Pin 4 of the dust sensor is the Vout1 output. Finally, connect pin number 5 of the disk sensor with the Arduino ground. The VCC and ground pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the Arduino 3.3V and ground pins, while the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the A4 and A5 pins. On the left side, you can see a 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. As usual, before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download the Adafruit GFX.h and Adafruit SSD1306.h libraries from my website electronicclinic.com. The Vout1 output pin of the disk sensor is connected with the Arduino pin 8. Right now I'm using only the Vout1. If you want, you can also define a pin for the Vout2. Anyway, the purpose of this code is to find the particle's concentration and display it on the OLED display module. And at the same time, we use some if conditions to check if the particle's concentration is increased and then accordingly, different messages are printed on the OLED display module. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded the program and now let's watch the DSM-501, a test sensor and Arduino-based air quality monitoring system in action.